will slow the full recovery of Europe and the United States. When there is too much inequality in the world and people who are just as smart as we are can't send their kids to school, can't get money to start a business, can't be rewarded for the work they do, that restricts the potential of the world to grow and it holds every struggling person in the UK and the United States down. When there is too much instability, the same thing happens. When climate change begins to erode the very fabric of our life, the same thing happens. Now we're losing trees that I protected when I was president, not to development, but because beetles that had never been that far north of the United States ever, because of climate change, are going there. More pertinent to you, the ice cap on Greenland is beginning to melt, and if it does, the water could flow into the North Sea and block the Gulf Stream, virtually paralyzing the Scandinavian countries, northern Canada, the Northeast United States for the winter months while the rest of the world burns up. All of these challenges are enormous opportunities, but they cannot just be done by people like me sitting in positions of power thinking they know what to do. A lot of them have to be done at the grassroots level. There is nothing more we can do that would be more effective to put the world back to work and to change the way we produce and consume energy and local resources. Here in Southern, we have a project we're working on with the City of London that will be a zero emission or carbon positive development project, one of two in London. If it happens, people will come from all over the UK to see how it would happen and when they could do it. And they won't be paying utility bills, they'll be making money that will put more people to work. Those farmers you saw in Africa, the worst we have done is to double their income. Most of them we triple, quadruple, or increase fivefold on the same land. For things that seem elemental to me. 75% of all the kids in the world who get AIDS medicine stay alive, get it off contracts. We negotiated just by solving problems. So I want to make these two points. One is, tomorrow when you wake up, you'll probably remember the entertainment. But just remember the faces that you saw, the children you saw, the hardworking people you saw. Every single penny we get helps make more stories like that. And it really is what we can do. This Millennium Network is designed to give primarily younger people the chance to play a role in a foundation that will minimize its overhead and maximize its impact. And the second thing I want you to remember is that with all the trouble the world has today, which is particularly hard on younger people, it's still a very exciting time to be alive. We are going to get out of this. And over the long run, our ability, your ability, to have your children grow up in the world, in the nation, in the neighborhood you want depends upon our success in increasing the positive and reducing the negative forces that bind us together on Earth. And ordinary people all over the world have more power to do that than ever before because of the rise of NGOs. My foundation, more than anything else, is a determined effort to marry people who care, like you, with people who are just as deserving, just as smart, and just as hardworking as we are and didn't have our set of life chances. It is a worthy thing you have done tonight. Thank you, God bless you, and have a good time.